today, I'm felting a little plant monster. Some assembly required. For some reason, I felt like making a little monster this week, probably getting into that Halloween spirit. So I'll be making a little carnivorous plant, but I want him to look like a cute little baby plant that will probably wreak havoc when he grows up. Let's get to it. I'm going to start by building an armature. I'll just use some green pipe cleaners, wire cutters just in case, and a little plant pot. I'll make a little circular base and try to add a little structure for strength. I'll use a few more pipe cleaners to make the stem. This circle on top will hold up his head, so I'll add another pipe cleaner for even more strength. I don't want him to droop too much. Now that my frame is done, I'll add this scrap wool around the base so that he can sit nicely in the pot. I'll just add some layer by layer until it's wrapped and firm. Now, I'll add some of these mossy looking browns for dirt. I've got a solid base of brown. It's looking pretty good and firm. So now I'll put a layer of this swampy looking color on top and felt it pretty solid so it doesn't slip around in the pot. Here we go. I feel like he's pretty secure in there. Next, I will wrap the stem. I'm using a dark green to kind of match with the swampiness. I'll tack in the end here at the bottom and then wrap this thin strip pretty tightly up and around to the top. As I go up, I try to make sure that I'm overlapping enough so no pipe cleaner fuzz sticks out. At the top, I'll just felt that end in, and then I can gently poke any bits that seem loose. Next, I will do just the same thing with the leaf stems. Ta-da! All stems are covered. Now I can figure out the head. I'm planning to make an upper jaw and a lower jaw, get them to be the shapes that I want, and then build it all together on the frame. The top of the head needs a little extra shaping, so I'm using some scrap wool to build up some height and then covering it all up with that green. Here are the basic shapes for his head, and now I will just poke them all over for a while to firm them up. If they're too squishy and fluffy, I find them harder to attach together and to cover up with other colors. So while they're still separate, I will felt them as much as I can possibly stand. There we go, they're pretty solid. I also made the inside of the mouth a little more concave at this point. And I made a little extra chin to help attach the lower jaw to the armature. So get ready to have a face, little buddy. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna put some dark green in his mouth. Mouths are usually dark inside, and it will be a lot easier to add the dark now than when it's put together. Now we're ready. I'll sandwich the two pieces of bottom jaw around the pipe cleaner, Then I can add more wool around the edges to cover up the wire and to shape the jaw. When the bottom jaw is attached, I can add the top. I'll start tacking it on from inside the mouth, then I can add more green in the back to really build out the shape and strengthen the connection. I think I'll add a little oval of dark green at the back of the mouth for a few reasons. 
First, I want to blend the top and bottom jaws together to look like one piece, but also it will help add a little structure to the mouth and let it stay a little more open. Oh man, it looks really funny. Kind of like a little dinosaur. Anyway, this green is a little brighter than he wants to be, so I'm going to add thin little wispies of these greens over the top. If it all works out, it should also add a nice depth and texture. Yeah, that's better. Still a little fluffy, so it's going to need more stabbing. The transition between the stem and his head is a little weird, so I'll just add some little leafy bits to make it blend a little better. Now it's time to start work on his face. This might be weird, but I'm pretty sure he needs lips. I will use a dark purpley maroon color and make a wider bottom lip and a littler top lip. And I'll just make sure that's all felted. And next I can make some eyes. I'll start with two big round white eyeballs, make sure they're in the right place, and then felt them on. I will give him big pupils with plenty of room for eye sparkles. Ha 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 ha! Yikes. I definitely want to overdo the eye sparkles so he looks very cute. And I think I've done that. Now I think he needs some kind of eyebrow, eyelid type of thing. Dark is weird. Let's try lighter. Also weird, but better, I think. Ha! Huh? He's starting to look pretty cute. I've made him some little squarish teeth. Not too many. I'm hoping they'll look like baby teeth just starting to grow in. There we go. I think he needs a tongue. Just something simple. Hmm. You can't see the line that I poked, so I'll add some maroon. Little pink freckles for extra cuteness, and also because his face needed a little something. Yay! He looks very cute. Now, I think the last step is making his leafy hands. I'm mixing a few different greens together with my dog brush blending comb. Ah, uh, hang on, it's gonna take a while. I'm trying to make a shape that looks leafy, but also kind of like fingers. I think they need dark green leaf veins. Now I will just poke, poke, poke until they're well felted. Mm, I think they're gonna work out. Oh, yeah, they look just right. Now, I will just carefully felt them on. Remember, there's wire in there. I don't want to break my needle. And now he's finished. Hi! Let's get you in your pot. Ha! <laughs> he's funny. Well, there you have it, my little baby plant monster. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, make sure you're subscribed and click the all notifications bell so you don't miss anything. New videos come out on Saturdays, so stay tuned for something fun. And until the next one, be awesome. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.